Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. So today, Mother's Day. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult to figure out what to give your mom for Mother's Day. And why not just make it? You got a laser, you could do something very personal, very fun, something. And not only that, you could sell this stuff. Um, I have sold countless amount of these roses and I generally <laughs> have had to make more than I thought. Now, these aren't just for Mother's Day. I mean, you know, people give their gifts to mom year round. You could do this at Christmas, whatever you want to do. But uh, I have put together this pack of these flowers of mom. And uh, I have also got this card. So I really think that this is such a great project. Not only are you making your own cards, uh, which you can do with a laser. It's kind of cool. I made this file. Uh, it is, you know, something you could do as well. I would encourage you to learn how to do this. And then you can just take pretty much anything you have and you can convert it into this file. You put any pictures you want on it, change the text, do whatever you want. You can make cards for any season. Uh, just use these basics. So I'll start out with the card and then I'll go into the roses uh, as far as the card goes, it, settings are everything. You know, you probably haven't worked with cardstock before. And this is, I'm going to put up a picture of the cardstock that I use. I get it from the local craft store. Very easy to get. Uh, I happen to be using the, the color pack that goes well with spring and Mother's Day. And it just feels right for that type of season. But they have packs for every color. I do Christmas cards. In fact, I made a video on making Christmas card. I think like a year or so ago. Um, so cards are great. And uh, again, settings are everything. So you see, I have a ton of, I have a ton of different layers here. So a couple of fill lines and a lot of lines. You can see what I'm doing is I'm cutting out these flowers. So these little flowers, I'm sure they're probably hard to see, but they're all cut out. And then behind them, backwards, you're going to place this engraved. So what's very interesting, and I have the card right here, is that you can um, engrave onto the paper and it will make a different color. So you just test, you know, test your different pieces of cardstock. Just because I did it in this color doesn't mean that's the best color. It just means it's the one I was feeling that day. You can do darker colors. You could do multiples, black, red, whatever you want to do. It all works. Some work better than others. I haven't tried every combination. So it's up to you to kind of try and just, once you learn how to do this again, it, you know, you are doing something almost nobody else is doing. And that is making cards with the laser. Again, I think it does it really well. Do you have to worry about like, you make sure the air is not on for one, not only will it blow your paper around, but also, of course, you're going to get probably smoke marks, things like that. What are you, were you worried about smoke marks? Now I'm not, I've done it on this on several lasers. I mean, I'm using the Rolly Lasermatic MK2, which is a, a phenomenal laser, but 10, a 10 watt diode will do just fine. A five watt would probably do great. So there, there's nothing, every laser, as long as it's somewhat clean, should be able to do this no problem. Again, the, the biggest thing is just settings. And I would make sure your laser bed is clean, all those sorts of things, right? But once you get the settings right, you should be able to do this. Uh, you could just cut out this pattern. Now, you're, you're probably not going to do this all at once because it's not going to fit on one sheet. What I would suggest is you turn off, I, hopefully these will stay in order on the file, and you just turn off the ones that you're not using. So you're just going to want to cut out the overall paper, say on the left side. So this line here is just a crease line. So you'll see with my settings that, you know, I put, I found that it was better to have just this little crease line. It just makes it easier to fold it. It looks nicer. Uh, you can see this folds really perfectly, really nicely. You could remove that if you wanted to and just use something else to fold it. It's fine. It's just one more step. 
So other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, cut out the one you want, cut out the next one, glue them together. I'm sure everybody here knows how to use glue. I tried to use stick glue, and that did not work. Uh, I, I, maybe it's just the stick glue that I had, but it just didn't stick well. Even though it's better because it won't leave any marks. Somebody out there is going to have the perfect glue for this, but I just used some Elmer's glue and more like brushed it on so you didn't see the, you know, you didn't see it when you looked through it in the light. Uh, but, and that works just fine and it holds together forever. It's great. So that's it. Use uh, glue. And then you can add any text you want to this. It would be a perfect thing if you have a printer to do a print and cut, right? You can print whatever. You could print the Happy Mother's Day. You could print whatever you want and then do the cutting. This is a, such a great project for just to learn how to do different things on your laser. And paper, although, you know, cardstock is somewhat expensive, it's not nearly as expensive as wood. So, it's a little more forgiving for you to learn and make mistakes with. So then I don't know if I'm leaving out anything on this. I, hopefully uh, that's enough. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will try to answer everything. If you have a problem with the file itself, then you could just leave a comment on Etsy and let me know. So let's go over to the roses. Now, what I've done is made front and back of both types of roses here. In the end, it's going to look like this. These are amazing, and you can make a bouquet of them if you want. You can just sell, I sell them for $5 a piece, and they sell all day, every day. You can make whatever type you want. Now, alternatively, you can just get rid of the back, and you can... Basically, what I would do is I would choose the whole rose. I would make it uh, all fill, and then I would re-choose just the outside line and make it a cut. And now you could just do an engrave, and it's easy peasy done. If you don't want to do color, you just want to do wood, you can easily do that. It looks pretty good. Um, I... I think I took a picture of it without the color, but then I went ahead and just, you know, used uh, paint pens and actually colored the rose. Uh, I don't think it looks quite as good, but it is a lot easier. I would suggest these things are brittle. You can see, like, even if I shake it, this is a uh, five millimeter, right? When you have these apart, um, see, this is two pieces glued together. It's pretty sturdy, but when they're apart, these things are very fragile. So be careful. Take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Uh, you're going to break some if you don't. I got to where I don't break any at all, but at first I was breaking them because I just thought, oh, you know, it's wood or whatever. So once you glue them together in two pieces, they're, they're pretty sturdy. You can put them in a vase, put them in anything. Uh, they do make files that have holders. I just didn't think they looked very good. I, I may come up with another solution. Uh, if these sell really well and everybody loves them, I may come up with some sort of base solution for that. Uh, I, as it was, I didn't think they looked that great. I think these look better, like wrapped up or uh, just handed, you know, or put in a vase or something. I just give it one. I just give one of the roses plus uh, the card to my mom. That's what I gave her for Mother's Day last year. I'll probably come up with something new this year. But anyway, so what you're going to do is just print out uh, each of these. What I what I usually do is I put the front side on wood. Uh, dark woods look just nice too. You know, you try different things. Uh, any kind of wood is actually going to look pretty good. And then what I do for the front, uh, the back side is I just use hardboard or card, you know, the stuff that goes in the picture, back of picture frames or MDF is really great. Uh, anything. The thing is, is that MDF could be a little more challenging to cut maybe on a five watt laser. You could just use two pieces of basswood or something and it would be just fine. Uh, this is just the way I do it. I just I actually paint the back black 
and I do them out of MDF. They're pretty sturdy and they look really nice. Now you could do different things. You could do two layers of MDF and then just paint the front like gold or something. I think it looks really good. I've done those in the past and that really makes them pop. So you do the back just the same and then do the front, just paint it gold, uh, metallic. It looks pretty nice. So hopefully I'll have pictures of some of the ones I did in the past. Uh, but I did it almost exactly the same now. I, I've probably sold, you know, well over at least a couple of hundred. And you think about that, you know, thousand dollars worth of roses uh, just in one or two shows. So they do really well. There's something that if you can keep protected that you could sell all the time. And there are different files with different texts for these roses. They're a little bit different. I did change these up a little bit, uh, but you know, they're, they're relatively the same. I have bought a couple of these files and they just didn't work really well, especially the ones that were for engraving. They just ended up not looking very good. So I found that this was the best solution out of all of the ones that I found. Uh, some of them have uh, thorns on them, which looks kind of cool. But the problem is, is that, well, why would you give your mom a rose that has thorns on it? Just my mental thing. <laughs> But more than anything, I think this is just a really great project to really get to know your laser. If you can make cards with your laser, you can do just about everything. Because uh, once again, when it comes to lasers, settings are everything. So I guess there's really not much more to say. Uh, I hope that you enjoy the file. And like, again, I'll make any kind of, you know, if anybody has suggestions, leave them below so that other people can see and maybe we can learn from each other. I'm certainly going to learn from doing this and learn from you. So I appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Love y'all.